Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing okay. So for today, I'm going to be bringing you guys along for my natural hair wash day. I'm going to be starting out on some neglected hair and I have my hair ties here with me as well as a wide tooth comb. So in this step here, I'm just um, wetting my hair just with some plain water um, only because I find that my hair is a little bit more easy to manage when it's wet, especially when it's in this state. Um, I haven't added any moisture to my hair in like the past few days in this video. And so now that I feel that I have a good amount of water in my hair, I'm just going to be going ahead and sectioning my hair into four pieces. I'm struggling with some hair in the back here as you can see but um, yeah I did have some tangles in the back like I say my hair was a little bit neglected when I was filming this video so um, I believe in sectioning my hair I have found that it's uh, easier to manage especially when I'm um, doing my wash days it's just faster and quicker for me to get through that if my hair is in sections so I'm just gonna be doing like sections of four Next, I'm going to be going in with the Aussie Miracle Moist Conditioner uh, before I actually get my hair shampooed. I'm doing this just so the conditioner can kind of act as a barrier between my hair and the shampoo and just to get a little bit more moisture in my hair before I continue the rest of my routine um, only because my hair was still a little bit dry at this point. So I'm just going to be working that in with my fingers and just like lightly detangling as I go. Okay, so I'm done with the back section of my hair and I'll be moving on to the front part of the hair and I'm just going to be repeating the same thing that I did with the back and um, as you can see here I'm just adding in a little bit more water um, like I said in the beginning of the video I found that my hair is a little bit easier to manage when I have water in it and I also find that it's easier for product to um, get to like every strand of hair when I have a little bit more water in it so I just add water before I add the product and I'm just going to be doing again the same thing that I did in the back in the front section which is just adding more conditioner working that in with my fingers So in this next step, after I have the conditioner all over my head, I just take this time out to kind of uh, massage that into my hair and massage my scalp to get the blood flowing to my scalp and uh, I already did it for the back even though I didn't show that in the clip but I am right here I'm just giving some extra love and attention to my edges and this feels so good you guys but yeah I just do that for all of my head. And um, after I do that, then I will be rinsing that out and 
we'll move on to our next step. Okay, so next I'm going to be going in with my shampoo and I am using the Aussie Total Miracle 2-in-1 shampoo slash conditioner and <laughs> you guys, I wasn't here for like almost two hours and I was just clowning at this point but I also shampoo my hair in sections just in case you guys are curious. Um, again, I, I found that because I have a lot of hair, it's just easier for me to do everything in sections. So I start out with the front and then I'll go ahead and jump into the back. Well, I must have been clearly feeling myself at this point but um, my next step is I'm gonna detangle and I think I was looking for my um, deep conditioner at this point but I'm gonna be going in with the Aussie 3 minute miracle moist I use that as my detangler I swear by it you guys it just gives me the most slip I know it's not like the healthiest in like the natural hair community because I think it has like silicones and stuff but I'm not one of those natural hair people like I mean I'm not gonna use like you know super unhealthy stuff but if something makes my um, natural hair routine easier I don't care too much like I'm gonna use it I'm not like super anal about those kinds of things um, but I still do try to use like products that are like good and healthy for my hair but anyway so yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and section my hair again and put the <laughs> I was exhausted you guys I was literally sitting down I have to sit down when I'm uh, doing my wash days because I cannot stand for that long but yeah so I'm gonna be sectioning my hair and just putting that detangler in um, my head and get started with the detangling process <laughs> So at this point I have successfully detangled three sections and I have one section more to go um, but I know my hair is fully detangled when I'm able to run my fingers through um, with ease like this and you guys can see in the video and this is this is what this wash day is all about you guys this part right here this moment right here it, it all led up to this Anyway, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and continue with that last section so we can finish up with this wash day, but I'm feeling very satisfied at this point.
I'm finally done with the detangling process and I'm just showing you guys here. So this is how much breakage I have um, so far from this whole routine, which is actually significantly less um, than I normally have. Let's say if I was doing this wash day after I take down like a protective style, this is actually like um, half of what I would have if I just took down like some braids or like a sew in. So at this point my hair is extra soft and feels very moisturized. I'm going in with the Camus Rose Deep Conditioning Mask and I'm just going to be applying that again in sections and um, this is my first time actually using this as you guys can see. I still have like the protective seal on it. Uh, funny story about this, I actually drove like 45 minutes away from my house just to find this. Um, there was like only one Target that had it and of course it had to be like the one that was furthest away from me. But after using it, I have to say it's very worth it and as you can see by my reaction, after smelling it, it smells absolutely heavenly and I absolutely recommend this product. If you guys are able to find it, definitely um, try it and support i do believe it is by a black owned company so even the more reason to support so yeah again i'm just going to be working that through my hair and i'm going to be twisting those sections up as well after i get that conditioner in there and i'll be letting it sit in my hair for a while i'll be showing you guys in that next clip but it's just going to be sped up so yeah let the dip conditioner sit in my hair for um, 30 minutes while I continued the rest of my shower routine and over here I'm just taking the twists out of my hair and I'm gonna be rinsing that deep conditioner out and my hair feels genuinely so much softer I can definitely tell the difference um, after the deep conditioner and I am feeling myself at this point So my partner had actually walked into the room at this point and the concern in his voice was so funny but yeah anyways moving on so at this point my hair is all rinsed and um dried out when well, i really dried out dried down but um i actually don't even know what my curl pattern is 
and I almost fell at this point in the video, you guys. <laughs> but I'm so glad the camera is only zoomed into my face. But yeah, I was saying, I actually don't know what my curl pattern is. Um, if anyone knows, please let me know in the comments just by like looking at my hair. So next, I'm going in with this Cummy Rose uh, Moisture Milk. And this is uh, going to be like my leave-in. Um, this smells absolutely divine as well. And this is actually, I believe, the cheapest thing that I saw when I was buying this stuff. I believe it's just like $13.99. Please don't quote me, but um, I think the only other thing was like $13.99 as well. So yeah, this is like the cheapest thing out of that line, but I really do believe that their products are worth it. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to be working that through my hair. I'm not sectioning into four at this point. I'll just do like two uh, big sections. So I'll just work that in and I'll follow up with some oil. For my oils to start with, I'm going to go in with this organic jojoba oil. It is by the brand um, Desert Essence and I got this from Sprouts and I'm just going to be adding a little bit of that and then I'm also going to be adding in the um, Argan and Morocco oil by um, Organics and I'm just going to be adding in both of those together and uh, working that through my hair. Um, I've actually never tried the organics oil before. Um, this is going to be my first time. I'm not sure what my thoughts are on it yet, but um, I'm still going to give it like maybe two more tries and then I'll form an opinion on it. But yeah, this was actually my first time trying it. I didn't uh, read any reviews before I bought it. I just saw that it had good ratings on the Target app and I bought it. So yeah. So I have gotten to the end of this video, but if you guys like hair 
um, videos on my channel. I will try my best to fit in some of those. Um, I'm not going to promise to film a lot of those only because I'm a lazy natural and I don't do too much with my natural hair. But if you made it to the end, please um, like this video if you liked it. Uh, leave me in comments and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.